welcome to Let's Create Crafts. In this video, we are going to see how to make this gorgeous phone case using only two shades of paint and an old phone case cover. Let's get started. Begin by taking any of your old phone case and painting it all white if it is if it has some dark colors on it. Um, after that, I'm going to be creating a background with a very light leaf green. Um, you can probably just mix um, any green that you have with white to create a lighter shade. Um, and also notice that I'm not um, uh, painting everything flat. Um, I have mixed uh, darker shades with lighter. Um, that creates uh, an illusion of depth and uh, later in the video you'll see that I'm also going to add some shadows to the flowers so the whole overall effect will be more of a 3D kind of look so um, yeah so that, that's what you do. Next thing that you want to do is lightly paint, um, take take very light shade of pink and draw just random circles wherever you want the roses to be um, and just uh, take a little bit of little darker shade of um, the same pink and uh, towards one side just um, you know just give a little shading towards the bottom. Um, so on top of this what you want to do is take um, so here I've used pink. So take take pink uh, on a on a smaller brush, and um, just draw concentric circles so that they overlap. Does that even make sense? Uh, if you if you just just uh, see the video and follow along. So basically, what I'm doing is um, drawing smaller pieces of petals so that they overlap. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be in an exact order or an exact shape. The whole beauty of it is in the randomness. So just um, follow along and the most important thing is to have fun while you're drawing it. So yeah, just have fun. I'm going to uh, fasten up this video a bit because there are lots of roses to draw. Uh, if you notice, I'm also twisting and um, the, the petals are not uniformly thick. Towards the edges, they gradually um, are thinner and towards the um, middle part, they are a little thicker. So next what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm taking a little darker shade of pink here. I have uh, mixed the, the pink with the green to achieve a little bit of darker brownish shade um, so what I'm doing is once my roses are dry enough I'm just going to slightly outline the petals with this so that the petals stand out more um, and the darker shade even gives um, an illusion of shadowy depth so um, the roses will look more fuller this way I mean this is again optional, you don't really have to do this but We are going to add a little shadow to at the um, the bottom of the roses. So what I'm going to do is, I take the green um, and mix it with a tiny bit of pink, so that it uh, becomes a little darker. Um, and um, at the edges of the rose, I'm just going to dab it, um, and with my flat brush, I'm just going to spread it out a bit, so that um, there is a little shadow. To where the roses are standing.
I'm just going to stop here. Uh, I think one layer of shadow was good enough for me. Um, after that, we'll just uh, finish it with drawing little, little tiny leaves just to fill up the gaps in the middle of the roses. Um, just make sure that the leaves are not um, facing one direction itself. You just want them to be scattered just like the roses are. And don't forget to paint on the sides of your phone as well. Mm -hmm.